Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to the Financial Investor channel. My name is Brent and today we're going to be looking at my updated portfolio on my website thefinancialinvestor.com. It's financial-investor. I'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out. I still haven't updated the other areas of my website and working on that here and there. I was very busy Sunday and was gone all day on, on a work trip so that took me out. But I'm going to be adding my strategy, some of my resources, my favorite books, uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad being my number one book to kind of, uh, you know, I read it while I was in the military and then that's been a good motivation for me for the future. I got my dividend incomes, I'll probably take this tab away because I do have my dividends displayed down here. I'm going to be adding some quick calculators, I may make a... Um, a Google chart or import some different kind of calculators that I can find that would be useful for calculating and you know stock markets or savings bonds or different types of investments and then I have my about my goals and my contact information which neither of these I do have some information on my about this generally what's on my YouTube channel and let's go back to my portfolio let's quickly cover I'm going to be adding a um, market index thing there that's some little things I'm making changing so okay I have seven out of the nine industries I have basic materials I have the Dow I have three consumer goods you can't go bad you know you can't go wrong with IP and Procter and Gamble uh, Imbotella, Imboteladora is a coca-cola distributor and I will end up selling them uh, I think their dividend date is coming up I think it's sometime this month. <laughs> Echo. Uh, stock. Well, uh, it doesn't give me information because this is an international stock. So, anyways. <laughs> uh, financial, I have BB&T Corporations and Paycom Software. In healthcare, I have Abbott, Zotus, CR Bard. These ones, I think they've been doing decent, but because of the um, Medicare reform, the um, health care reform, they may be swaying left and right and up and down and going all over. So I'll have to look at these and whether I want to include them in my next portfolio or if I'm going to wait for the, I think Abbott is this month, they're paying out, I think on, or their ex dividend dates, I think on the 8th. I think it's next week. So I'll have to look into that as well. I know I have it in my motif, my dates. My industrial goods, I have C&H and I have Boeing Co both good ones. This one's a bit expensive. It's a military contractor. They build different things. Uh, services, Weight Watchers International. This one cost me 3% today. I did make a video on uh, selling a stock on Saturday that I published. I saw that this one was up 16%, which beats my 10 to 15 rule of, you know, I, fought, I, get a, I buy a stock, hold it until it makes 10 or 15% if it's a growth stock, and then I'll sell it out and cash in. Well, today on Monday the 3rd it dropped by 3% so it lost about a dollar but in the after hours tr in the after hours market it did go up so I'm going to make a video on that technology I have PayPal Activision Blizzard and ADP ADP has been around forever and they've been paying dividends a long time uh utility wise these three utilities are killing me here but utilities aren't going to go anywhere people are always going to need their power <laughs> So I have um, American Electric Power Company, Entergy Corporation, and Edison International. And then down below here, I do have my dividends displayed by their company ticker symbol, followed by how many shares of that specific stock that I own. You'll see that I do have, I don't have full shares on Motif Investing. I can buy partial shares. So if you create a Motif of, say, 10 to 15 stocks and you put $1,000 into it, and you have 10 stocks is going to put 10 percent so 100 bucks into those each of those stocks um so 10 percent being a hundred dollars in into the 10 stocks you chose inside of that motive so that would actually probably that would probably still be a partial share because 10,000 shares of um dow or a hundred a hundred dollar shares of dow would only buy you one stock in it uh, so I do have my dividends, my yield, and my annual income for each of the symbols. So my current average yield is 1.97. You'll see that I do have a couple in here. PayPal.com and Weight Watchers International. 
oh this is Paycom or PayPal I have Paycom up there they don't pay dividends they're more of growth stocks that I've been holding on to and they've been doing pretty decent so I do have an average yield of 1.97 so I'm going to be increasing my risk level this is actually really low uh, my annual income my total annual is about six hundred and eighty four dollars and fifty eight cents or I think it's about a uh, hundred and seventy one dollars a month or uh, right around there and actually that's not 174 a month that's every quarter every quarter is three and three and three and three yeah about 171 dollars every quarter so not too bad there so that is it for my full portfolio I'll have a link in the description below if you guys know of any other plugins that are great for WordPress if you guys have any other websites that you also use for your financial investing I'm going to be having my portfolio and uh, my current strategies of how I buy my stocks so where I go to uh, research it and what I research and you know what what's the uh, what 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 gets me to the end result in purchasing that specific stock so that is it for this video if you enjoyed the video remember to like comment and subscribe for future financial videos if you dislike the video Please leave it in the comments why you disliked the video, what I can do to improve, as I am always looking to improve. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Bye.